Hi YouTube. Uh, so this is part two on my uh, bucket garden. Uh, how to make one uh, the way I think is the best way. And uh, I want to show you something here, which is this is the way that I connected up my first buckets for this garden. Uh, this is the way I figured out to do it. And uh, it works, and it's a good way. But uh, I found a better way, uh, much easier and less expensive way to do this. So this tool here is a step drill set, which I bought at Harbor Freight Tools. This set here costs uh, presently at Harbor Freight it's somewhere about sixteen or seventeen dollars and I, I really recommend getting one of these tools to uh, make one of these bucket gardens it's you could do it with regular drills but uh, this makes it a lot faster and easier So my daughter is going to demonstrate how easy it is to uh, prepare one of these buckets. This towel. This was a an old towel. Uh, I don't know where it came from. You want to cut it a little wider, Jenny. Just a little, okay. You want to cut it more or less as wide as a sock. So this was cut and ripped, and now she's tying a very loose knot. So that's the first bucket, and that hardly took any time at all. Now I'm going to show you the easy way to uh, set these buckets up and put the hoses in them so that they won't leak and they won't come loose. And unless you really yank them, uh, then they will. But uh, if you're reasonably careful, they won't come, come loose. And of course, you need the hose. And this is the kind of hose I have. Uh, they don't sell this kind of hose at Home Depot. Uh, but they do sell it at Lowe's. And you can also get something like this. It's not the exact same brand at Walmart. And of course, you need the drill. Uh, now I'm going to use my step drill set here. Uh, I'm going to use the smaller one for this because that has a 5 8 inch uh, <clears throat> that has a 5 8 inch setting up on it right here. This is 5 8 inch. And the reason that's important is because the outside dimension of this hose is 5 8 inches. 
And the idea is I'm going to drill a 5 8 inch hole in here. I'm going to put my hose in and then I'm going to take uh, one of these drip system tube uh, couplers. This is a half inch tube coupler. Uh, these things cost about 65 cents each and uh, I've actually cut one in half and I'm gonna put it in the 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 uh, the hose while the end of the hose is in the bucket and that'll hold it in place good and tight it will not leak and it's really the very best way to do this so uh, I got my razor knife here my tape measure sharpie pen electric drill and I have everything I need in order to do this and it just take a minute now if you look at that step drill uh, you can see that I, I marked where I want to stop drilling uh, I used a, a sharpie pen so that I won't make a mistake and go too far uh, if I go one more step than I want then what I'll have to do is wrap the outside of the uh, of the of the water tubing with duct tape and uh, it's an unnecessary step as long as you're careful so I'm gonna go ahead and drill this hole now Now we have a 5 8 inch hole in there. Or do we? I gotta go one more step. I made a mistake. That's a 5 8 inch hole. So now that fits in there pretty snug, even without the uh, even without the, the coupler in there. Once this coupler goes in there that'll be locked in place. Uh, one thing I want to say before I go ahead and uh, put my hose and half half of a coupler in there is uh, this is a very nice perfectly round hole. Now I don't recommend using a paddle bit to do this. Uh, a regular drill bit might be okay uh, 5 8 inch drill bit, but a paddle bit, I don't recommend them. Uh, I found that they uh, don't make a perfectly round hole. They, uh, they're they irregular, the holes. And if this hole isn't just right, then this system won't work. So one of these um, step drill sets is perfect for this, but uh, a regular drill bit would be better than a paddle bit, a 5 8 inch uh, drill bit. Now, uh, I'm going to cut a piece of this hose so that I'll have a nice long piece. And one thing I forgot to mention is I found that it's a little easier if you lubricate this, uh, the coupling with some of this petroleum jelly. Uh, it makes the whole whole thing go a little bit easier but you want to put one end in here and you want to have it so that it's in place roughly about like that then you want to start this in and I'm using this to hammer it in. Now that's in place. That isn't going anywhere uh, unless I really yank it, which I'm not intending to do. Uh, that will not leak. And uh, I'm actually going to put some water in there and I'll be back in a minute once I have that water. I'm going to pour it in there and we're going to see that it doesn't leak. Uh, this is a perfect way to do this. It really is. 
So now, uh, I've got water in there, and you can see it's not leaking, and it won't leak. And I've got a, a bunch of water in there. It's, um, I don't know why this thing keeps going out of focus, but uh, it's well above the top of uh, where that, that tube is in there. So this is absolutely the easiest and best way I've found to do this. It's uh, inexpensive and uh, very, very effective. This is a great way to do this. Uh, while I have this, uh, this just sitting here, I want to point something out about plastic buckets that's important. Uh, in case you don't know it, uh, a lot of plastic buckets, they may hold five gallons each, but uh, the, the dimensions on those buckets are not necessarily the same. Now it is on these, because it's the same manufacturer, uh, and you can see that goes in nice and comes out nice, but that won't necessarily be the case with all plastic buckets. Uh, you got to make sure that the buckets you're using uh, are going to work together because if you have a mix of different kinds of buckets some of them may work well for the bottom and some of them may work well for the top but it's not necessarily true in reverse and I'll show you what I mean here uh, here's what I mean uh, this plastic bucket here does not fit inside the one that I've made the bottom I've made into the bottom uh, the reverse would work. Here's, an, here's that other one that I had in there before. And see, that fits in there okay. But the, um, this one here will not fit in there well. Uh, it can't be made to fit. And it's because it's a different manufacturer. All these plastic buckets are not exactly alike. You need to be aware of that. It's an important thing to know. Now these, uh, these fittings here uh, are ones that, uh, they're like the uh, fittings that I had in my bucket garden that I showed at the beginning of this video. And uh, this is the way I did it originally and uh, I hadn't gotten this, this other system here figured out so that's why I did it that way but now that I did get this figured out uh, I will not uh, be using this kind of a, a way of attaching the hose to the, the buckets. It's, it's uh, a lot too complicated. Uh, the chances of leaking are uh, not, not extreme, but they're good enough so that it's, it's really just not worth doing it this way. So I'm not even going to bother to explain it. Uh, it's just not uh, the right way to do it. Uh, this is the right way to do it. And from now on in, this is the way I will do it.